In this video, I'm going to show you how I took this and made this. We woke up to another gloomy fall day here in Austin, Texas, and I decided for the first time in six years that it was time to take a new self-portrait. So I've been on an editing bender the last three days, staring at my computer screen, trying to get galleries and weddings out, and I'm just kind of tired of editing. So we're gonna get creative today and I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my lighting and my camera to take a self-portrait in my garage. I essentially just needed this little montage of me doing my hair and makeup to show you guys what my inspiration is for my self-portraits today. So these are what I'm looking at. This is what I was inspired by. We're just going for something simple. And then I got stuck again on makeup, so I had to pull up Pinterest again. Decided on a bold brow. Decided on a light eye. And of course, crease cut my face. And of course, some blush to look spry. Like a spring chicken. All right, I'm gonna go change and meet you guys in the garage. Luckily, my roommate already had this black backdrop set up. Props of living with a videographer. And first thing I grab is my cheetah stand, which already had a bracket on it. And then I'm gonna put my AD200 into the bracket. And I'm going to grab my Pro Photo Diffusion. And I wanna show you guys actually, there is a beauty dish in this. And I notice a significant difference when I use the beauty dish as opposed to not. So that's what the inside of the diffusion looks like. I'm just gonna pop this guy up onto the bracket. And this is just a very simple one light setup. I did not wanna make things complicated today. These are Leo Photo sticks with a Leo Photo G4 tripod head. And then this little guy, the flash receiver. I have forgotten to bring this thing to so many shoots in the past. It's honestly embarrassing. I always forget it. It's such a small piece, but it is the most integral piece to an artificial lighting setup. All right, I have changed. I technically didn't need to put jeans on, but for YouTube purposes, I just made the outfit complete. I'm just wearing a cute little black top. Oh, there I am, that's it, that's the fit, that's the whole fit. I'm gonna put you guys on a macro lens. This is just an old Nikon lens. It's de-clicked and I bought it off my professor for 50 bucks when I was broke and a senior in college. So my settings are as states. You're gonna go into menu and you're gonna hop over to menu number six. Click interval timer, click enable, go to the settings. And I'm just going to set this for every five seconds. No, oh, maybe every four. Mm, no, every five. And unlimited photos so that I don't have to worry about it stopping at any point. I do like doing this instead of using a trigger on my phone. It's just more distracting to have to use a trigger. I make sure that autofocus is set to eye detection and I make sure that the lens is set to auto instead of manual focus. And I take a couple test shots to see how the lighting is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and pull you guys back so that you can get the whole view. I decided to throw a clip in my hair. I like my hair up. I usually wear my hair up. If you know me, my hair is always up. And just have fun with it, guys. Try out different poses, move that light around, do literally whatever you wanna do. Nobody is watching um, unless you decide to be me and film the entire process and put it up onto the internet. So yeah, I just tried a couple different poses. I honestly got frustrated a lot quicker than I would have liked to only because it is 100% humidity today and my garage is not air conditioned, but I decided to persist and go with a continuous lighting setup and see if I liked those results better. And this is just an LED panel. I think it's a newer, like N-E-E-W-E-R light. I bought these like years ago. I have five of them that I use for wedding receptions for wedding videography and it was way too much. And even when I turned it all the way down, I still needed some diffusion. So I found my roommate's circular light diffuser and I just popped that guy up onto a stand, lowered it and put it in front of the LED panel. This didn't yield the results I wanted. I honestly liked the one point strobe light setup better, but you know what? I gave up and here are the final results. So yeah, you guys, get out, do something creative today or stay in and do something creative today. You're allowed to be creative. I'm giving you the permission to step away from your client work and go be creative. Go have fun. See you in the next one.